There are a lot of birds in the world that are beautiful and elegant and majestic, but those are not the birds I'm talking about today. Today, I'm going to talk about the true monsters of the avian community, the big feathery beasts who make it clear that they're the descendants of dinosaurs. These are 20 dangerous birds you should run away from. Number 20. The Griffin Vulture would you just look at this enormous bird? This is the griffin vulture, and it is actually one of the biggest birds in all of Europe. Not only is it colossal, it's also kind of a badass. This is what the most dangerous bird in the world can do. The griffin vulture is actually a carrion bird, meaning that they prefer to scavenge meat from the already dead carcasses of animals. However, this bird is not afraid to take advantage of an injured or sick animal, and they will often attack before the creature has actually completely departed from this life. Totally brutal, right? Well, the griffin vulture is a very well-equipped bird to find its food. These incredible birds have the sharpest eyesight you could possibly imagine, and they can actually spot a delicious dead animal dinner from as far away as three miles. And if that was wasn't terrifying enough, these vultures feature a wingspan that can reach over 9 feet and they can be as heavy as 29 pounds. These bloodthirsty beasts enjoy nothing better than getting head first and neck deep in the viscera of a sheep or a cow, and this is the only time when you'll really hear these birds. They are noisy and enthusiastic eaters, otherwise they're just really quiet, meaning that you won't even hear one of these sharp-beaked birds coming, so be afraid. Be very, very afraid. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. The bald eagle is the proud symbol of America, probably because these things are utterly brutal. Nobody is entering a fight against one of these big boys and coming out on the other side okay. With a wingspan of over six feet and some of the gnarliest claws that you'll ever see, they are the most dangerous birds in the world. And this is what the most dangerous bird in the world can do. Utilizing their attuned sense of sight and powerful talons, they swoop down at speeds of 100 miles per hour, violently attacking their prey before the poor things even had a chance to figure out what's going on. Long story short, don't mess with a bald eagle because you're not going to win. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below using the hashtag Sweet Topic. Number 19. The Harpy Eagle this is one fierce-looking bird. Its extraordinary hooked beak and mad hairdo make this big eagle look a bit like a cross between an owl and an eagle. The harpy eagle is named after the harpies of Greek mythology, a half-human, half-bird monster that is the personification of destructive storm winds. Now, if I were a harpy eagle, I would feel a little peeved about that comparison. Mythical harpies are generally considered ugly and were believed to have made the most horrific noises. So, to call someone, even a bird, a harpy is well, rude, and you wouldn't want to upset one of these massive birds. The bird is known to be the heaviest and strongest of all birds of prey. Featuring speeds of up to 50 miles per hour, harpy eagles have a grip that's so powerful that they can literally crush their prey to death with the squeeze of their talons. Ouch! The preferred meal of this colossal bird includes some pretty big animals, that being sloths and monkeys or even deer and iguanas and snakes, snarfing down some of this weighty meal before dragging the remaining carcass back to its nest for later. Yum! Number 18. The Swan. In the UK, most people have heard that swans can be pretty feisty and have been known to break arms when they are particularly cross. The swan, though, is even more dangerous than its proclivity towards limb snapping would suggest. This bird actually has a murderous streak. Mute swans are famously the property of the queen, although if they do belong to her, how come she isn't a more responsible owner? Well, it's probably because she's these crazed birds have been marauding around the countryside, starting fights and breaking bones for crying out loud. This big bird is not shy when it comes to protecting its nest and defending its territory. In fights between male swans, it's common for the aggressor to actually push the other swan under the water. 
They're also very hungry birds, and they need a lot of food to keep them going, gorging on vegetation and preying upon animals like fish, frogs, and their spawn, mollusks and insects. Swans are actually responsible for displacing other native species, and their greedy feeding can actually damage habitats from overconsumption of vegetation. Back in 2012, a man in Chicago would be attacked by a swan while kayaking. The bird first capsized the boat, then, and this is the really crazy part, the man attempted to swim to shore, but the swan prevented his escape and ultimately drowned the guy. So although they may be beautiful to look at from a safe distance, the mute swan is not to be messed with. This is one bad bird. Number 17. The Hooded Patui now don't be fooled by this little bird's innocent appearance. It's actually poisonous, and it's the only bird on the planet that is known to have toxic feathers. The guy that discovered the bird's secret weapon didn't realize that he had a lucky escape. After catching one in a net, he then touched his face after handling the birds, and then his lips went numb. Alarmed by his discovery, although really he should have probably been practicing some hand-washing hygiene, he then sent some of the bird's feathers in for analysis the result of which would show that the little bird was full of bactrotoxin, a toxin that's so deadly that it's literally what's used to make poison arrows. The only other place that the toxin is found is inside of the skin of the poison dart frog. It seems as though this bird does not actually make the deadly toxin in its body. They get it from their food. They're particularly partial to some type of beetle that contains the toxin. The birds, although unaffected themselves, by eating the beetles will make them themselves toxic to other would-be predators. Their bright shock of orange feathers may actually be like a natural world's warning label, so I guess the moral of the story is, don't go around licking birds. At least not the poisonous ones. And if you're into these deadly birds, then be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one in the future. Number 16. The Canada Goose. Now, if you have ever encountered a Canada goose, you already know just how crazy these birds can be. And in some parts of America, they are literally everywhere, and they are mad at everyone. Or at least that's how it seems. The Canada goose is a big and wild goose, featuring a black head and neck, and with white feathers under its chin and a brown body. They're found all across North America. and can sometimes be seen migrating all the way to northern Europe. There are also populations that have been introduced in other places around the world. Canada geese are particularly fond of taking up residence in places that people already hang around in, meaning that they will often nest in urban and cultivated areas, and that brings them into regular contact with people. That's when the problems begin. Canada geese can be very aggressive if they feel that their nests are in any way threatened, and that can mean a person just unwittingly walking nearby. That results in a goose attack. Although kind of hilarious, they are dangerous and also increasingly common. The Canada goose population seems to be thriving, and they're getting more mean and more scary all the time. They poop absolutely everywhere, as well as getting super mad at passerbys. They're also known to stalk anyone who has food and even appear to beg to be fed. However, you really don't want one of these big bad birds being interested in you. They are very dangerous indeed. Number 15. The Cassowary now, if there was ever a bird that showed the likely evolution of dinosaurs into modern birds, then this may be the one. I mean, just look at it and tell me that it's not a ruddy dinosaur. The cassowary has been given the ominous title of the world's most dangerous bird, and there's a very good reason for that. These crazy-looking, flightless birds can kill you with just one swipe of their foot. I mean, seriously, cassowaries are native to parts of Asia and Australia, and as a listed dangerous exotic bird, if you want to breed them, you're going to have to get a permit. The blue-faced, helmet-headed cassowary can grow as tall as 6 foot 6 inches and weigh as much as 132 pounds. So if one of these attacks you, it's not exactly like being set upon by a sparrow. The cassowary is equipped with a lethal weapon, having three toes on each foot, and one of these toes is essentially a dagger. It's been recorded that cassowaries have literally eviscerated humans with this knife-sharp toenail. It's so efficient, it can easily sever a limb from a person. And so, this is 
one dangerous toe. These birds need some serious podiatrist intervention. A 75-year-old man in Florida would be attacked by one of his own cassowaries at his home. He was so badly injured in the attack that he actually These modern-day dinosaurs can and may just Number 14. The Australian Magpie This dangerous bird is not to be confused with the European magpie. The Australian magpie is totally different, totally insane, and literally wants to peck your eyes out. It is a stone-cold maniac, so don't mess with this bird. In fact, don't even be near the bird, because they're going to attack you just for walking near their tree. The dangerous Australian magpie even has the rarely phased locals concerned enough to stay out of its way when it's nesting. People will cross the street to avoid this bloodthirsty blighter. The bird is really into personal space, and if it thinks that a human is wandering too casually close, it will literally dive bomb the unfortunate victim, pecking at any visible skin and going for the eyeballs. A real life terrifying nightmare in the Aussie suburbs. This magpie has to have huge warning signs posted all around where it may be nesting, warning passing people that there are swooping magpies in the area. It really does mark its territory. In fact, it's such a menace that it gets people to do it for them. Fiercely territorial and pretty mean to boot, the Australian magpie will peck you soon as look at you, so I'd read the signs and stay out of the way of this bad bird's sight. That is, if you value yours. Number 13. The Ostrich the ostrich is not only the world's biggest bird, but it's also the world's heaviest and fastest running. They have extremely sharp talons and the most powerful legs in the bird business. So there's no way that you would want to upset one of these dangerous creatures. The big-bodied ostrich is way too heavy to fly. These birds have developed muscular legs to be extremely fast on land. They can run over short distances at top speeds of about 43 miles per hour or over a longer distance at around 30 miles an hour. This is one of the ways that the ostrich continues to thrive in such massive numbers. They can mostly outrun a predator and hanging out in a gang makes for even more protection still. There is a story that music legend Johnny Cash once got into a fight with an ostrich and it very nearly did him in. The angry ostrich knocked Cash to the ground and then swiped at his stomach with its big toe. This would tear a hole in the singer's flesh and he said that if it weren't for the good solid belt buckle that he was wearing, that ostrich would have spilled out his guts. Cash broke two ribs in the process, but he was also lucky enough to live to tell the tale. These birds do not mess around. Number 12. The Southern Giant Petrel The giant petrel is a big old seabird featuring a massive seven-foot wingspan. It has a particularly weird technique for flying, literally running on the surface of the water until it gets up enough speed to take off. But its water-walking abilities are where this potential divine comparison ends. Like a massive garbage disposal unit, giant petrels will consume some live prey like squid and krill, but they won't turn their bills up at any old trash, generally preferring their food to be dead and decaying. You'll often find them gobbling up bits of dead penguins, seals, and whales. Oh, and they're also pretty good at chasing behind fishing boats to hoover up any dead or discarded fish occasionally getting into a pickle by eating bait off of a hook and being drowned in the process. There are a couple of different species of these big birds. There's the southern giant petrel, which, as you guessed, lives in the southern hemisphere, specifically Antarctica. There's the northern giant petrel, which lives, no, not in the northern hemisphere, in the southern oceans to the north of the Antarctic area. Whichever one you happen to be looking at, though, they're still massive and really aggressive birds, and they enjoy eating gross stuff and literally barfing on anything, which includes people that come too near to them. So it's no small wonder that they're also known as stinkers. Number 11. Seagulls. Now, if you have visited the coast, then you've likely encountered a seagull. There are many different sorts of gull that live in coastal habitats around the world, over 50 different species in fact, but it is the seagulls that have encountered humans that are the most dangerous and generally most annoying of all. They are surprisingly intelligent. Even their tiny bird brains seem to have figured that wherever there are humans, there is food to be found. 
and seagulls really love to eat. These birds can pack away as much as 20% of their own body weight every single day, and they weigh about one and a half pounds. So that's a lot of food. These birds have scarily good memories. If you hide food from them, they will remember not only where you put it, but they'll also remember your face. If you're a person who's actually fed a seagull, they can recognize you and may expect you to provide them with more food in the future. They can also get pretty aggressive when they want something. There are reports of seagulls attempting to steal food from humans and causing some nasty injuries. These have included broken bones, cuts, and bruises. And don't even think of going near their nests. These birds are known to be super protective and will get very violent indeed and are going to get very protective if they even think you're going to poke around in their nest. Number 10. The Emu a bird which literally had a war declared against it, it does sound totally cuckoo, but this is actually what happened to the emu in 1932, or if you prefer, emu. The human population of a district in Western Australia were so concerned that this bird was running wild and messing up the entire place that they brought in soldiers, like actual soldiers, to deal with the delinquent birds, and that did not go very well. It turns out that firing machine guns at these birds is not the most effective way of killing them. They simply just outran the attacks, and after three failed attempts, the humans had to surrender to the birds, which in this scenario left people asking who the real bird brains were. And so, this bird is a massive flightless bird that mostly hangs out in Australia. and although it doesn't usually get armies coming after it, the emu, or emu, if you will, does still make a nuisance of itself. They are the second largest bird in the world, with only the ostrich being the larger, and they can grow up to about six feet tall. Although they do have tiny, useless wings, their legs are long and very powerful, and one running can reach a speed of up to 30 miles per hour. So I wouldn't go making one of them mad, because they get pretty aggressive and can easily chase you down. Number 9. The Bone-Eating Bearded Vulture Although these vultures really prefer the bones of already dead animals, their fearsome appearance has gotten the bone-eating bearded vulture a bit of a reputation for stealing lambs and even babies. They really don't though. In fact, they prefer the marrow that's inside of bones to pretty much everything else, so having to kill their own dinner is not really on their agenda, although they are partial to the odd small turtle or lizard. A whopping 80% of the bone-eating vulture's diet is made up of bone and bone marrow, it's the only known vertebrate to eat a diet of mainly bones. This bird scavenges its meals from carcasses, and once it has a hold of a bone, it will drop it from a great height to smash it into pieces, which it can then easily swallow. Their stomach acid is super strong, so they digest the bony bits in about 24 hours. The bone-eating bearded vulture is most easily distinguishable by its bright orange feathers. They actually rub soil on themselves when they're preening, and the iron oxide in that soil adds to their fiery red appearance. The coloring is a status symbol amongst these birds, and is often associated with those birds that are older and more established. It is useless as camouflage, since it makes them stand out so very much, and instead simply appears to be about making themselves look extra fancy. Number 8. Little Shrike Thrush this is another poisonous bird, a bit like the patui that we saw earlier. It's evolved, like pretty much all creatures on Earth, to avoid predation as much as possible. This bird's special adaptation is to become toxic to anything that may want to eat it. The little shrike thrush is a poisonous Australian bird. They can be found in dense rainforests and mangrove swamps, and it's thought that the little bird consumes insects which are then themselves full of poison. I'm talking about the type of poison that a dart frog has. Now, the birds themselves are completely unaffected by the poison, but if something should attack them, well, that predator will likely end up to be very dead indeed. Number 7. Hawks 
There are lots of different kinds of hawks. This is the generic term that is used to describe around 270 species of predatory bird. All hawks are called raptors, or birds of prey. They're extremely strong birds and all have dangerously sharp talons that they use to catch their prey and very powerful hooked beaks that are designed to tear at flesh. Hawks have the most extraordinary eyesight as well, the most awesome in the whole of the animal kingdom. They can see eight times more clearly than a human and can spot their prey from a remarkable remarkable distance. While there are many different kinds of hawks, and they vary significantly in size, from the bald eagle that can weigh as much as 13 pounds, right down to an American kestrel which is only a few ounces, they are still a formidable flyer and have great strength and stamina. These birds are perfectly adapted to hunting their prey and can catch and kill a huge variety of animals. They are one of nature's most efficient creatures. Number 6. The Peregrine Falcon the peregrine falcon is one of the many, many types of hawks that there are in the world, and these birds are a type of big predatory raptor. Not only are they dangerous, they are also utterly majestic. During flight, the peregrine falcon is extremely elegant and terrifyingly fast. It's actually the fastest bird in the world. While in normal flight, these birds can average about 40 miles an hour, this increases to 65 miles per hour during a chase. But it's when they dive towards their prey that these falcons can reach their top speed. This can be as insanely fast as 200 miles per hour. This bird is around about one and a half feet tall, but it also has a wingspan that reaches three and a half feet. Like other raptors, this falcon has a hooked beak and very powerful talons that it uses to catch and kill its prey. But what do you think of these amazing birds? Let's have a discussion down below in the comments section, shall we? Number 5. The Red Warbler the red warbler may be small and pretty, but it is also super deadly. These birds are mostly endemic to Mexico, and they mostly live in forests of oak, fir, and pine. But while they're tweeting away in the trees, looking all sweet and innocent, they're actually stuffed full of dangerous toxins. The Aztecs had long known that the red warbler was considered to be inedible, although how much meat you could actually get off of such a teeny weeny bird is questionable anyways. But they knew too well that these birds contain something that not only makes it unpalatable, but also dangerous to eat. That stuff is neurotoxic alkaloids. These are poisons that occur within their bodies that offer these birds protection against potential predators and also help them to be safe during their lives. It seems to be working, at least a little bit. There are still plenty of red warblers in existence, despite a reduction in their habitats, and they've not suffered from being hunted or killed in excessive numbers. So there's a top tip for other birds who may be suffering. Number 4. European Quail Next up we have a bird that is often eaten by humans, but weirdly is actually also found to be sometimes toxic. The European quail is a small game bird that migrates annually. These birds have been consumed by people for hundreds of years, but should be treated with caution. That's because they mostly eat a variety of seeds and grains along with some weeds, but they're also known to munch away on more deadly stuff. Hemlock being one such plant, and this famously dangerous stuff contains a poisonous compound called conine, which is often what is responsible for making these innocuous appearing quails into secretly poisonous poultry. However, this quail is only poisonous during migration season, and even then it's a rare thing for them to become poisonous. It is still a bit of a lottery though, unless you have kept a close watch on every single thing that the bird in question has consumed. People have known that quails can be poisonous ever since ancient Greek times, and yet we still insist on eating them, despite the Russian roulette that's involved. People can be so weird. Number 3. The Spur-Winged Goose Cooking a nice goose can seem like a fancy thing to do for a festive occasion, but be careful which goose that you decide to feast on, or you may end up being the one who's stuffed. These are spur-winged geese, and unlike other more benign and tasty birds, these creatures are also super toxic. 
They love nothing more than gorging themselves on blister beetles, a kind of insect that is full of a nasty poison that it secretes to warn against predators eating them. But obviously, it doesn't seem to put off the spur-winged goose that is unaffected by that poison and finds the beetle to be completely delicious anyways. Once it has been eaten by the goose, it then stores the toxin in the bird's tissues, and this means that even a cooked goose is still poisonous and a 10 milligram dose of the poison is sufficient to actually kill a human. Number 2. The Great Horned Owl The Great Horned Owl will eat anything like literally anything that moves, and even sometimes stuff that's been dead for a bit. Ew. Although not the biggest bird of prey, the horned owl can weigh up to about five pounds, but don't think that makes them feeble. This bird can actually carry up to four times its own weight, so although they usually eat rabbits, rats, or hare, they are more than capable of picking out a skunk or a raccoon. Some more insane great horned owls have tried their luck and caught ospreys and hawks. Their silent attack is their best weapon. Well, that and their incredible crushing power. A creature caught in their talons is squeezed with a spine-crushing 28 pounds of pressure, so I reckon there's a good reason for pets to give the owl's hunting ground a wide berth. Now, you should also know that even people need to watch out. There have been reports, particularly during winter nesting months, of the great horned owl attacking people if they stray too close to the owl's nesting and hunting grounds. A 12-year-old boy was cross-country skiing in a Montana state park when a horned owl thought that he looked a little bit shifty and then silently swooped in. That bird of prey flew directly at the kid, talons straight at his face, and then floored him. The boy was fortunate, though, he did not receive a talon in the eye or even worse. And even after all that, he still wants to be an orthonologist when he grows up. Seriously, I'm not kidding. Number 1. Crowned Eagles Awesome, majestic crowned eagles are the most powerful of African eagles. Their incredible strength is part of what makes this one of the deadliest birds on the planet. The crowned eagle is a super efficient and deadly precise killing machine, and its flight is almost completely silent, so you can't hear them coming. It will rarely waste energy in a hunt, and actually prefers to sit in a tree in a prime space like a watering hole, just waiting for its prey to come. Then, when it's an unlucky creature in its crosshairs, the crowned eagle will simply drop down on to it and break the prey's spine with its long, powerful talons. Ouch! At least it's quick, I guess. If you think that's deadly, you should see what happens when a pair of these birds hunt together. They do have a pretty scary kill routine. The male eagle will fly high above the ground, making a noise to attract the prey in the trees below. They do love to eat monkeys. And then, while the unsuspecting monkey is looking up at the male, the female will swoop in and grab one of them. Then, if their chosen lunch is just a bit too heavy, they'll meet on the ground to rip the creature apart and then carry the pieces back to their nest storing some to snack on later. Well, that's it for today's Big Bad Birds. Which of these dangerous ones would you actually run away from? As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.